Okay, guys. I've tried tonight. I've tried really hard. I've tried so hard. I've gone back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If you want to jump on Wad Stars, you can see how tonight went. <laughs> Nothing is going good for me. I'm tired. I spent like an hour setting up the new um shotgun mic. Uh, for instance, I actually want your guys' opinion. This is something I've asked in every single time I've recorded tonight, which is a total of four. <laughs> Way too much. Anyways, this is a shotgun mic. These mics are made for keeping distance. Currently, this mic is actually really close, but for me, I kind of like the sound quality of this mic this close. However... They are highly sensitive. Now, these mics usually are in controlled environments. They're used in movie setups and studios, and they're they're made for controlled environments. Uh, this is technically a controlled environment until my vent goes off. But my noise gate handles the vent. Uh, whenever summer hits, I'll probably be switching back to the pod mic. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section how you think this mic is. Other than that, the actual distance this mic is going to be keeping. Let me readjust it real quick for you. Real quick. Sorry. A hard R's. No, not that. No. No. Hard W's. Like wabbits. Wait, is that trademarked? <gasps> so normally pod mics will actually be above people. And then... Or it's usually off a little bit in the distance. Usually you like to have your cone effect hitting the chest. That way your vocals, whenever it comes out, you like to travel upward to the side a little bit. It hits a little bit better. I don't know. I enjoy it. It took a minute to really get it hooked up. I love the aesthetics of it. However, my mounting mechanism for it, it's not exactly the greatest. Plus with shotgun mics, um, depending on positioning. So, for instance, an example would be this. I'm looking to the left. I move the mic a little bit out of view. It's not facing my chest anymore. And now you can hear the difference of it. But then putting it back where it's supposed to be probably sounds a little bit better. Other than that, you guys, I, I did try tonight. My, my goal was to uh, show off the CS53. And uh, turns out I kept on getting up against tier 10s. And then I had one match at top tier, and that one match was on mines. And I pulled up, and it was just... Uh, not exactly the greatest experience. No. It was not. It was horrid. Could have been better. Um, anyways, uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, in the comment section, let me know what you guys think about the mic difference. If you would prefer the dynamic mic or the uh, condenser mic. Or shotgun or pod. There you go. Shotgun or pod. You, you just make up your mind there. Um, other than that, if you have any recommendations for tanks that you would like to see me play um, tomorrow night. Uh, let me know in the comment section as well. Include that in with your little opinion on which mic you would prefer. Speaking of which, that's actually not the right spot. I would actually have this. Let me fix it. This is probably where I would have it. Oh. That reminds me. My camera's dumb. For whatever reason, whenever uh, I interfere with my camera, it gets a massive delay on it. And then it just gets really dumb. And does a lot of stupid things all the time. Oh, well, it is what it is. Anyways, recommendations... I tried tonight. Believe me, I did. I think I've invested like 10 matches. And the only good one um, was in a light tank passive scouting match that I didn't even record. I made a short at the very end, but that's about it. Also, let me know what you guys think about YouTube shorts. I'm kind of planning on using those to show off positions inside light tanks. Because a lot of my passive gameplay inside light tanks is not exactly the most interesting thing to watch. So I kind of felt like shorts would be the best way to show it off to see the aggressive position. It's not like I need a whole lot of time to go over what crew I'm using. It's a light tank, a light tank crew. A lot of my light tank crews are technically all the same. I don't use rapid loading. I use a lot of concealment, mark target, and then, yeah, it is what it is. Other than that, thank you. Do not leave a like in this video. It's kind of just me admitting that I suck tonight because I'm tired. And the mic came in today. And I had a lot of problems. I got the wrong mounting tools for it. Yeah, it's one of those days. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a day that nothing went right, and I had to sit underneath a giant spout, hold it up as we de-latched everything. I'm sitting there all like, <gasps> Zig's heavy. You know, for like 20 minutes. I actually started the rest on top of my head and put my hand over it that. Like, Ooh. 
I don't want to do this no more. But I'm here. Anyways, till next time. Thank you for, you know, enjoying the content that I've been trying to pump out daily. Too bad about today. Ah.